Hello, I'm Barry Braselton from Children's Hospital in Boston. I am so proud of Connecticut for wanting to face the issues that parents must face to give their children a, a well-rounded future in learning and in emotional issues at, in Connecticut in, to face that complex world. We have collected 12 stresses that parents are having to face that are significantly more than they were when I was raising my children. And so we, all parents are vulnerable and they all need our support. And for Connecticut to start thinking about how they can give them the support they need so their children are ready. And we've found in our own work that the first three years are when they really collect the kind of self-esteem that they need, the kind of altruism they might feel about other people, something we've almost lost in this society. And the third thing is, if they get what they need from their parents in the first three years, they're ready to learn anything we want them to. So, I, our emphasis in our Touchpoints outreach program for vulnerable parents and all parents are vulnerable today because they want to do well by their kids. In our touch points, we use the vulnerable times in a child's development just before each spurt in development, either cognitive or motor or affective development. There's a short period in which the child falls apart, regresses, won't eat, won't sleep, is fussy, and parents fall apart with them. If we're ready as professionals or as uh, supporters to step into that time with parents and say, you know, regression is a time for progression, uh, parents begin to feel, hey, I know what I'm doing. These six times in the first year, four times each year after that, are times when we as professionals can make it with parents. And they begin to feel, hey, somebody understands what it's like to be a parent today. And the, the kid begins to feel good about himself. The mother begins to feel good about herself. And they change in front of our eyes. We have found that if we start off with vulnerable parents by a positive model, Look how you hold that baby. And when you meant, I mentioned the baby, you look down at her. Aren't you having a great time? And then we turn right to the baby's behavior and say, look how she's clinging to you. Look how she looks up at you with her eyes like that. That baby and that mother already feel what we're doing by talking to each other, by smiling at each other, by singing to each other, that's where children learn, I'm important, and we can do that. And you are ready to do that in Connecticut. Isn't that great? I just can't commend you enough, because it sure is a time in our country when we better be thinking about what we've been doing to families and children, and how unsuccessful our outreach programs have been. People who are already vulnerable with poverty or with the kind of hopelessness that we see all around our streets are bound to raise those kids with a kind of hopelessness and ready to lash out in our society. We can't afford that any longer. And Connecticut, good for you. You are recognizing it. I am so proud of you. I hope we can be of some help to you in Massachusetts because we haven't done enough here and it sounds like you're on the road to really doing it. All parents today need the relationships with somebody who supports them and believes in them. And what you're doing in Connecticut is going to be a call to arms for the rest of the country. Bravo.